Hi, I am Emmanuel. Today we are going to be talking about how to run a Spearman correlation test in R. A Spearman's correlation test is a non parametric statistical test to determine the monotonic association between two variables. It should also interest us to know that the Spearman correlation tends from minus 1 to plus 1 and when our Spearman correlation is closer to negative 1 then we would say there is a highly negative correlation but if it tends to positive 1 then we say there is a positive a highly positive correlation for today we are going to be using a very simple example let's say in a in a fish farm there are two two types of treatments that were given to the fishes okay in order for them to produce to yield more now we want to test whether there is a correlation between the first treatment and the second treatment and in order to do that let us first of all import our data for the purpose of this lesson I have saved a data that we'll be making use of so first we import our data import the data in doing that we would save our data with the variable my survey then file read.csv file the choose comma header equal to true then we we'll hit our enter key then we wait just a little while for this prompt to pop up then my data is saved in desktop as my survey okay so here is it here it is okay right now so what we do open it and you can see it is saved in R so in we have in we have imported our data so to look at the data we just type my survey and click enter so this is the data these are the two, the two treatments and these are the various um, yields now in order to obtain our Spearman correlation test we make use of this function call the test now my data name is my survey my dollar sign to tell R that uh, we are on to treatment one comma my survey dollar sign to inform R that here we are trying to find, look for the correlation between treatment one and treatment two then comma method method is equal to Spearman okay so having done that we hit our enter key alright so here is the Spearman's rank correlation information here so here's our result so for the data you can see my survey for treatment 1 and uh, treatment 2 so that is what we are uh, trying to see if there is a correlation then this is our uh, our um, our our calculated value for the uh, Spearman correlation test, and this is our p-value, and our p-value is less than 0.05. Then here is the alternative hypothesis: this tr is true. Spearman correlation is true. It's not equal to zero, and our our Spearman correlation test here is 0 0.5 positive 0 0.5 which is a uh, halfway uh, uh, to one positive one so we would 
we can say that there is a correlation between the two items a little bit strongly there's a little strong correlation between the two items so if we are having our 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 rule here as um let's say 0 0.7 0 0.8 0 0.9 or 1 if you say if it's 1 then we can say that it's a perfect uh, positive correlation so at least here there is a, a slightly high positive correlation okay so here is the warning sign is a warning sign all right in call the test the default cannot compute exact value for with um, ties so if we want to clear this warning sign we can simply do that by adding exact exact equals to false okay so when we hit enter key you see the warning sign is no longer there all right so here is it here it is and um we can also add other function like the alternative alternative okay so we can add either uh, to uh, to to the side all right so for uh, for the for this lesson or in r um most often spearman correlation this is the default um default uh, alternative so all what we have been doing here are all two-sided okay so we can also add uh, another function here greater than or we can add less greater or less whichever one we feel like doing okay so here it is this is how you run your spearman uh, rank correlation in r remember to subscribe to my channel if you have a uh, for instant notification and if you're having uh, some issues with understanding what i have just explained you can drop your comment on the comment section and i would attend to you very fast thank you